The next thing on the to-do list is to wire up this encoder. This is one of the inexpensive Omron encoders, and you can see the, the model number there. They work pretty well, and it's a 2,000 line encoder, so that means when you're using it on the lathe, you're actually going to get 8,000 pulses per revolution. So this is one of the really, really cool things about using the Centroid Acorn board is it comes with this connection to wire up an encoder. So let's get to it. Let's uh, use this encoder. Let's use one of these little adapters and let's wire this thing up. All right, everything's wired up. It's plugged in. And what you'll do is you'll go into the setup wizard and it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is tell it spindle encoder. Yes, this is under the spindle tab three spindle setup. Just say spindle encoder, yes. And then uh, in my case, I'm gonna start with negative 8,000. It's either gonna be 8,000 or negative 8,000. If you find you're, you're uh, getting your RPM readings, you know, the opposite of what you expect they should be, put a negative sign in it. So I'm gonna start with negative 8,000, but that's what I need. If that doesn't work, I'll make it positive 8,000. And that's it, you just, yes, I have a spindle encoder and there's the counts per rev. Then you write those settings. And then you open the program. And what you'll see immediately when you spin the shaft, you get spindle feedback. So we are ready to mount that spindle encoder, kind of like the way this one looks right here. This is using one of the, the kits that I sell to mount it to the mini lathe. And you will have spindle feedback. All right, thanks for watching. On to the next step.